So it went down, right? He's building, adding on, showing improvement. And then we got to a fork in the road. So I said to myself, the original people in the wilderness of North America have English, 1611, Protestant Christianity embedded into their DNA to a point where the pen and the brain have grafted themselves to each other and can't be separated unless you damage the brain itself. You have to cut away from it. it has to be so some pins you're not gonna be able to remove unless you're willing to um, give the subject brain damage. And now the reason why I say that is because you look at the correlation to uh, the Matrix and you hear Morpheus say that some people can't be removed from the Matrix. Not in those words, but uh, they refuse to leave. They're too old, as in the nation they would say. Uh, they're too old. Too old to be removed from that particular sea for the original man. That particular ideology, that culture, that creed, those pins you can't get out. Only you can save the youth. You can't really save the old ones in that area. Now they can take the pin out themselves because then they would release the hold on it. But if they're not uh, willing to do their own research, they'll never see it. They're too old for you to just born it to them and they catch it. They're too old, they never play baseball, so they can't catch the ball. They don't know how to do it. Young person, catch on real quick. See, you don't, when that ball is coming at 90 miles an hour, and you have to swing a bat and hit it. It's a whole other ball game. Then you're using the softball and that don't do the arm. You know and understand that. After they hit a certain degree, you can't help them only up to a certain point. You can point them in the right direction. They have to want to do it. The young, what you're doing is you're showing them the truth and shielding them from the forces of the devil. The devil is in control of public education, Anything that's dealing with public and social, then the devil got his hand all in. Now, remember what he said now? The devil is the truth and false and strange and myth. So it's nice to say that there isn't any truth in social media. Oh, there's plenty of truth. But if you don't have knowledge, you don't know what to pick. How are you going to know what? Uh, Right and exact, and what isn't right and exact, you don't have a foundation, you don't have a basis. And don't front like you a Muslim, or you, or you 5%, or, man, or you a Hebrew. I'm thinking you conscious, like you like saying Yahweh, you talking Yahweh, Ben, Yahweh. Yahweh, Ben, Yahweh, bear witness to the 1 to 36, and the 1 to 10 from the gate. Um, so, like Mel Chesnack, and son, you kind of front, man. I'm thinking... You just trying to keep peace in the house like Tislam. He be going to church, but he really just keeping peace in the house. His woman's a Christian. He God. That happens all the time. It be five percent. They woman be something else. It's a man. But you talking to the God. I'm the God, son. You knew me since the '90s. So then that means back then, he, because listen, right? He was NOI. He was NOI when Elijah Muhammad was in effect. When War of Dean took over, he left. He, once, the, once Elijah Muhammad, but when he would quote the one to ten, he quoted like they did the NOI quote. He didn't quote it like we did. But it's implied that it's 120, but we know it's really supreme wisdom what he's talking about. And I'm talking 120. They just sound similar because in, in supreme wisdom, W.D. Farad is asking Elijah the question. And he's answering. So even though we, we quoting what Elijah said, we know what the father said. 
father said, father civilization and God and the universe, they just have father civilization. So that's implied unless you trying to like wiggle your way out of not saying that you are Christian, but you saying that you are a Christian, but you're not a Christian or because you always defending the uh, when I say something like, well, if the Roman Catholic Church, then you bear witness. But if it's Protestant, because the Protestants don't like the Roman Catholic Church. Martin Luther from Germany, the founder of the Protestant movement, had beef with the Roman Catholic Church. And then uh, King Henry VIII of England had beef with the Roman Catholic Church from the Vatican. And the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox had beef with each other and excommunicated each other. And then you're going to go into the Nicene Council, as the, the, the lesson does. So once you hit the Nicene Council, it starts explaining to you about Constantine. Then you go into the Green Book and find out about the new and upstart God, Christ. That's how they talked and they said about him. Because they worship Baal, which is Zeus, which is uh, Jupiter. Look in your lessons. You see it saying Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Earth, and Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto. And that's when it's that manifestation. We know that it's traveling in a different uh, orbit. The vortex is in a different orbit than the other planet. They're kind of more in line with each other. That one's kind of oblong. And they're going uh, east to west, they're going north and south, based on where the planet is at. You see them in the northern hemisphere. A lot. Now you see them in the southern hemisphere. Everybody else is in the moon, going up and down. All right? Tropical Capricorn to the Tropical Cancer and the equator bouncing back and forth, right? So that's 120 right there. That's uh, from Pluto back to Mercury. And now if we go Pluto to Mercury, that automatically takes us into. I'm thinking the reason why I went, you was trying to use that as. Uh, for instance, is because in reality, uh, it's implied that 120 is manifested around between 1964 and 1969, give or take a few. You could go back to uh, 1963, we want to add the mathematics up until all the way up to 1969, and then you get into the plus degrees, that, 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 universal justice, great, you know, all that great mind, all that. All right. Um, you, uh, uh, firstborn prince doing this, this, that, and the third, and, and uh, first uh, black messiah. Then you gonna go into sham god, and that how that lesson gonna bring you into sham god on the universe of flat, da, 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 da. right? All we know those lessons. You got the two different versions. Uh, born the flat. One is like born it. How you born it? When you just born it because you manifesting it. And then it's the one that sham god wrote. You. I'm just saying you can look that up yourself. That's that's. Proven facts. So that's why I'm saying it's implied if you know and understand 120 lessons and you're a true and living God, then you know it's 1964 to 1969. So if I say mathematics and I'm saying, oh, he had 120, then you know I'm talking about he really had supreme wisdom. And I say he got taught by W.D. Variety, Elijah Muhammad, and you playing games. And you, you know, it wasn't no 120 then. It was the wisdom was before the knowledge. So what are you saying? Okay, now. Nah. Bam. So we killed that. Then we go to, because there's got to be a lesson involved in the whole manifestation, right? So the lesson is not only do you have to know and understand what we are 120, but if you don't get it right, or you didn't really bear witness when it was made manifest, then you was fronting kind of, you wasn't born. You wasn't born then. If you're not fronting, because I don't take you to be a fronting type. When it comes to the theology and the manifestation of as above, so below, as below, so above, nah, you ain't got 120, son. You might have some other shit, but it ain't 120 lessons. That's my word is bond. It ain't 120 lessons. Maybe you down with supreme wisdom. You told me you said you were a Christian. I heard you say that you was a Christian. So if you were a Christian, then you got to be down with Christ, and you got to be down with Jesus. And you got to be down with his father. So that still falls under Father, Son, Holy Ghost. So he had I, access to WD for real. He had access to winter. That's what I'm saying. Even the motherfuckers who had access to WD in those days. Even 
when they wasn't writing exact, they still was the they were still the alpha male. So even though that was writing exact, they become the alpha male. That's why I said Malcolm had one twenty. So you telling me the era of Malcolm X when he had one hundred and twenty lessons? See how I said that? That's implied that he had supreme wisdom. Come on, stop! You're playing with me. Um, that's playing games and shit. That's some old backwards math. Because we all know he couldn't have had exactly one twenty. How W. D. Farrad was. Had taught Elijah, and Elijah was the one teaching him, and he and the father hadn't even been manifested yet, uh, as far as the nation 120, and us. So, he wasn't in the five percent. He wasn't us. He was a Muslim. That's what I'm saying. You couldn't know and understand 120 They whoever taught it to you, they ain't teach it to you right. Cause short. That's why I say the knowledge and the power bring about that equality. That's why they could easily go from. Wisdom, myself, divine, have a master, right? And instead of going building, destroying, understanding, going into knowledge, nah, they could just go from the wisdom, myself, divine, type of master to the wisdom. Sure. It's that's you could do that. It's implied that you can do it, but if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. When I'm talking about the exercise, so you know and understand 120 lessons, you go through the whole manifestation. If you're teaching children how to do long arithmetic, you let them go through the whole manifestation, so that it comes out to be 83 right. and. Well, we not on our square, so I got to say, word is born, I'm on my square. It's implied that your word is born and what you say coming out your mouth is, is research and not based on emotion and what you feel, but it's based on actual fact and soul. Our fact is everything is supposed to be what's shown and proved. So, yeah, you can take it on face value on yourself, but you can't expect somebody else to take it on face value. You got to show and prove it. Oh, but he had Christianity and he had, and you said he had 120. No. It's implied he had supreme wisdom. But that doesn't change the fact that he really didn't have supreme wisdom. What he had was he got taught by W.D. Farrar, the same one who got taught by Elijah. Elijah got taught by the same person. And so since that took place, then they both was a manifestation of supreme wisdom because W.D. was asking him the questions. He was in the class and he answered them on his paper, how he saw it. And then when W.D. left, they all went their own ways. They did whatever they did. He did that. He was like, oh, I could get paid doing Christianity and have them worshiping me and I'll be bigger than life. And he did it. And so I'm saying that him doing that and any Christian would bear witness to me. If he had... Because, all right, let's find the fact, the fact finders. Y'all heard the whole thing. So you're telling me you're a Christian and you believe in Christianity and you believe in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and of the culture of the Christianity faith. Because whether you Catholic, Protestant, whatever, the foundation today whole is based on our brother who is Jesus. There's no other way around it. So if that's the case, then you're saying that the Christians teach that Jesus is the Lord and Savior, and only through him you could be saved, and then it goes to there for his father. And then the ghost is showing and proving when the rock was rolled away and he came out, all right, after the cross. Uh, so there's the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and then you got his mother, Immaculate Conception, if you're going into um, the Catholic part. But they all say Immaculate Conception. No, son, it's not all right. That's what I'm saying. So you're saying the Christians are going to say that's or unless you're trying to hide? I don't know. What are you saying? You tell me. This is what I'm saying. Well, fuck if he had supreme wisdom, uh, Torah, in jail, Kabbalistics, Kabbalah, Qua, um, Kabbalion, and the Kabbalah. You could have all that. And he still, if he got them people worshiping him and bowing down to him, he ain't right and exact. That's what I'm saying. All right, so and if you bear witness to that, you ain't right and exact. So it don't mean that you ain't my, my people. You still my people. You just got some unright and exact worship and shit. Like Ma Raymond said, they know the word, but they don't do it. They just know it, but they don't do it. So you don't know it, and you ain't doing it. Because, okay, Deuteronomy and Leviticus is the law of the Hebrews based on 1611 version. Right, we ain't gonna jump out of that. We gonna stay right there, right? And so if we in sixteen eleven, King James version. Now we know what the criteria. Is. So if that's the criteria, then you're telling me that Esau, which is Jesus, which he had the Hebrew name too, and um, they got the Moorish name, they got the Islamic name, is a is a Jewish name. He's got all the all everybody is Abraham. He got his name, 
right? And they're saying that uh, he's the Lord and Savior. Um, except for they, the Hebrews and all of them are seeing the same Lord and Savior, but they just see him at another level because he wasn't at that level when they saw him. When they saw him, he wasn't, the physical manifestation had made itself manifest. It had only been through, because remember he said, I'm Abraham, I'm all of them. All right. So, you're telling me that the Christians are going to bear witness to, why you think that? It was about economic improvement, economic stability, climbing up economically. It was about um, um, going back to Africa. Uh, it was a... Uh, a correlation between nationalism of Africa and nationalism of being the defeated nation of the Western Hemisphere, from Alaska to Chile. And so the root of the defeated nation from Alaska to Chile still is the motherland. And so the real motherland, based on when the Moors got a hold of it, would be showing and proving from the motherland for the original people is from the Tropic of Capricorn to the Tropic of Cancer, and then you see the the the, uh, the the strongest of itself is in the equator, and then it as it gets out further, you see the uh, the manifestation of amalgamation and miscegenation in modern days. So the Mediterranean and all that, right? And so the the Earth today is not the Earth of yesterday. But it's implied on certain things, like the equator you know is the original man. So I shouldn't have to say that. It's automatically implied. And if you know and understand, you would automatically say, Father Divine, Sweet Daddy Grace, Elijah Muhammad, uh, John Muhammad, uh, a lot of them. I don't know all the other names. Those are the most famous names. They were all taught by W.D. Farrad. So they all didn't manifest what Elijah did. They all manifest whatever they, they did. But most of them who would teach what W.D. taught, they would not have the people bowing down to them because they would teach them that there is no God outside of their what self. So even if they was going in 120, as I said, one, as you say, I say 120, or we say 120 lessons. But if we're talking about 100, if I say 120 lessons, and I'm talking about somebody from 1942, then you know I must be talking about supreme wisdom because it's implied that they would be learning supreme wisdom and not 120. Why? Uh, 120 didn't come till the father came and the 5% nation was made manifest. So there was no 120 lessons. There was no supreme mathematics and supreme alphabets. 120 lessons. There wasn't that. That wasn't there. So um, supreme wisdom had they had their supreme wisdom. That's why their C is different than our C. We don't but, we the gods. So we know all together we quote one twenty. So if we all quote one twenty, it says February twentieth, nineteen thirty four and a hundred degrees. So are you saying that's not implied? That's or the whole ideology of who and what is made manifest within whichever cipher it is. You could say you Christian, you could say you Muslim, you could be Hebrew, you could be Jew, you could be uh, uh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, you could be uh, Imam Isa, whoever the, uh, whoever the order is that you follow. Whatever, Masons, Shriners, wherever you are. You could be Protestant under Martin Luther, or you could be under the Pope. It doesn't matter which one you pick. It says that what's the criteria we using? If you saying that you're King James Version, then we the criteria gotta be that. You could be a whole you could be a combination of shit if you want to. But that just makes it that you have to be even more right and exact. Not less right and exact. The more you carry, the more right and exact or the closer to truth that you must be because you have too much information to not be going towards the truth. You got that much information and you're not going towards the truth based on whatever it is that you go, that you believe in, wherever that place is that goes from the front like they got the truth, but they really, that's where you're going. Where they say, that's what's going down. The Christians will say, you're going to hell. Because you fronting, you saying you this, but you don't really know that unless you just like a congregation type. You don't really know. Basically, you gonna ride on your preacher's tail and hope to his his um his tuxedo could take you across the 
Jordan River and you could get there in one piece. But that my Jim Jones type. Motherfucker, you going down. So, and, you, and then you, the for instance you use is, well, Jim Jones learned science from Father Divine. And so he wasn't right in exact neither. He taught Christianity. Jesus and the Lord and the Savior don't mean they really teach Christianity. They just using the name of Christianity, but they might be teaching some other shit. So if Jim Jones, here's a good for instance, you brought him up. Jim Jones, you say he was teaching Christianity because he was saying Jesus and all that, but he had the people drinking poison. Show me in the Bible where you say, you're supposed to be drinking poison. Okay, we'll take it to the next level. Don't show me in the Bible. Show me in the gospel where it say you're supposed to drink. We ain't even got to go through the whole Bible. We're going to go right to the gospel. The gospel of real shit is them apostles. What the hell did they say about that shit? We ain't even going to go to Paul because he wasn't there when Jesus was there. He came after this. We know that Martin and all the rest is Matthew and all them. Mark, Luke, John, all that. There's all 12 of them. We've seen that lesson. I put that up for you. Gospel of Barnabas, all that. We got that. And we know if we put them up. They're going to say they was the apostle. So if we go to the gospel, you're telling me. I'm talking about Father Divine from um, Father Divine, that old school Father Divine. That's why I kept saying he was he had supreme wisdom. He didn't have 120. It implied that Father Divine of 1930s and 40s had supreme wisdom. Or he, a version of supreme wisdom. Because he would have been getting the questions asked himself. Just like Elijah was. So he was around before the Elijah's NOI. And he was in the same classroom with the rest of them based on the lesson. Father Divine, Sweet Daddy Grace, all that. So the only one that manifests God, and I'm saying that to say that, look who came out of What came out of their temples? So he said Jim Jones, one of them. You can say whatever. Based on the World Trade Center, it's like you could go to the World Trade Center and say, okay, I don't really know what happened. All you know is the towers actually came down. That's what you really know, what you actually seen yourself because it ain't there now. And you could say that we could go and look at those names and really look up that and find those families ourselves if we did our own and find out if those families are really people that's real people. And so you don't think fact finders already did that? So we know damn well that somebody died in there as family who we don't know their names and stuff, but they died in there. You know that. All the other shit is conjecture and this and that and forensic evidence and blah, whatever. But the point of the matter is I'm making is based on implied. Implied is we know people died, but we don't know what, when, where, and how and why. We know when and we know where. But we don't know the hows of it all being contrived together. We can only go off speculation of what third party, fourth party, fifth party say. They investigated this and that and the third, and this is what we found or whatever. whatever. But the only people, and the people who was in, participated in it, and the people who was the victims of it, that was it was going down. They know their story of what went down. That shit went in the ether anyway. You can't stop that. So the point I'm making is that the father rose up around 1963, 62, 63. That's when it was going down, 62 to 63. And then by 63, he's like, I'm out. And so now, you're talking about 63, 64, by then, the nation is rolling, son. It's like an avalanche now. It's over. Snowboarding and turning to an avalanche is on and popping. Nine born teaching, 14 born Medina teaching, father going around, blah, 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 driving it, devil getting scared. By 1969, the father is like, uh, June 13th. We, that should be implied when I say 1969. June 13th, 15,055. I don't have to say no more if you know and understand. That should be implied. We already know what that is, right? Okay. So then we take it to the next level. Then we go the 70s, right? Who got it in the 70s? So you got this in the 70s. We could, who? Who was your name? I bet you we could trace that back like this because the nation was small then. Right? If I say I guard, they might say, who I got? I say, Master I got from Nubia over there in Star, right? They're going to know now. Whole month of March, well, half a month of March, April, May, June. By June 30th, that's when we put everything up and we get ready to quote uh, mathematics. We go through that. But some of us have been, as they would call, we were trying to, I don't know if we were cheating, but we was going ahead of time. And so, we was reading all that information, but at the same time, before he told us to put it up, we was learning how to quote because he had already gave us the order. 
the memory he gave it to us all in one lump. And then, like three days later, that, that Monday, I saw him, he said, let me tell you the order. So he showed me how the order was, you know? Cause I didn't know which was 120, what was what, I didn't know. He showed me the whole thing. Gave me the order of the math and the alphabets and 120 and everything, right? Because when he gave it to me, I guess he had it all jumbled up together and just handed me all that. He was giving me, it was mine, but he was like, nah, son, that's mine. You got to um, go get a copy of all that. So I've got like three backpacks full of lessons. So I'm like, he's like, nah, take your time, get them, you know, because we have, we was getting them. That's implied that you true and living God in the 5% nation, then you're supposed to begin with, no one understand. And then everything's supposed to be subject to uh, show and improve. Right? And I'm the first one to say, yeah, when I first got 120, I took it on face value that I guard is right and exact. That's my man. He ain't teaching me no shit ain't right and exact. And once I did the knowledge, I said, yeah, this is what I've been looking for. This is right and exact. I just need to find things and show and prove to other people so they can see that I use this as my catalyst to where I could pick now. Now I had a good foundation to find the books that would show that this is right and exact to people who ain't got this and they need to read this book. That's the only way they can get out of where they at. You read this book and then when you finish reading this one I'm going to give you another one. So it's similar to what W. D. Rod did with the 106 books. Read these 106 books and then I'm going to ask you the question. Who is the original man? Then, you, then you'll be able to answer. Right now you can't answer because you're still 85. Shit. Because this is 85. 85 is easy led in the wrong direction, but hard to be led in the right direction. Okay, translate that into 120. See, I could say to 85, listen, Lord, if you eat wheat, the devil is poisoning you. His name is Monsanto and Bear. They put in Agent Orange, you Vietnam veteran, they put in Agent Orange. And the, guy, and the wheat is absorbing the Agent Orange. And they calling it Roundup. They changed the name. Because you know how the devil is. He used things to shield his dirty ideology. So he was shielded by changing the name. And he changed it. So then he changed it. You see, you know when he lies. And he changed it. <laughs> that made me think of jump. Then what the fuck is that? See? And so that's what I'm saying. That boys it. Right? If he could see. Once you can see, then you go into the culture, which is I guard. Then once you get into the culture, you go into the power. And now you have the power to resurrect the mentally dead from their present state of unawareness and ignorance itself. The only way you can do it is you have to study other material that points them to 120, like a lighthouse. Like, and so you grab that to show them that, see, I told you that uh, in the Black Man by Days, there's two germs, a Black German and a Brown German. And then you bring them to DNA and RNA, and you bring them to the X gene and the Y gene, and you bring them to chromosomes, and you bring them to recessive and uh, recessive gene and the dominant gene. What's the dominant trait in that genetic makeup? And what's the recessive trait in that genetic makeup? And you take them right along there. That's how you do it. So that still brings you right back to the wisdom build to destroy degree in the one to 40, or the 88 degree in 120, so those are automatically implied. If I say wisdom build destroy degree in the one to forty, then the correlation is eighty eight degree in one hundred and twenty. That's implied. I should have to say that. You should imply that. That's an actual fact, right? So we know eighty eight and twenty eight, and then we gonna know we gonna go right into what was y'all cool first wisdom regulation cooling all laws of course our manufacturing today, and then we gonna know and understand that. So we know that it had to be albinos. Before Yaku, because albinoism had to be in the physical manifestation of man and woman and then the baby, because how could Yaku do what he do if that wasn't already present? So it had to already be in the manifestation within its what? So we still end up with 120 it's implied. We know that it's say 8,400, but we also know is, uh, that that's. When he's like 18, if you don't understand the 600 year process. Right? So, in the year 8,367, and all of that. We know that, right? That's implied without saying it. I don't have to say 
if I say who's the original man, we all know the degree and we quoting it right now in our head, right? I don't have to quote it out for those who is true and living. Now, if you're not true and living, I might have to go get J.A. Rogers, Sex and Races, Volume 1, 2, and 3, um, Africa's Gift to the World, um, um, Black Man and Now and His Family, Dr. Ben, Africa's Gift to the World, J.A. Rogers, Superman the Man, J.A. Rogers, um, George G.M. Jackson. That's what I would do. You need to look at that first before I even, you know, born you. Because I don't, I need it in my head so that I know what to pick to give to the people for them to be born. Doesn't matter where you're at. Uh, you might say, well, I'm, I'm Bible. All right, look. When Abraham, because all three of y'all like Abraham, Jews like Abraham, uh, Christians like Abraham, uh, Muslims like Abraham, and I like to say four because the Hebrews, because we know Jewish people and Hebrews, is, it's not really the same thing. We're talking ancient Hebrew, and that's a whole nother ball game. Well, you think the people that's in this so-called land, Egypt today, is what they would call it that it wasn't even called Egypt, it was called Kemet back then. You see what I'm saying? So when you, time ain't really linear like that. You're gonna, I'm going to show you that degree too. I'm going to put that up right here while I'm talking. That's that degree that you're looking at right now. That's that. And that's how you see space and time. I'll show you that degree. And that's a picture form of it. So even a baby can understand certain things. And you use a mirror to show the baby. You put the mirrors in front of each other and let them see infinity on the physical manifestation. You know what I'm saying? Then you get them a telescope and let them look out into space. And you get them a microscope and you let them look at microscopic things. You know, have what the strength is that you get. You can also go to the to the uh, Smithsonian. You could go to certain uh, laboratories now. They let you do that. You could go there and, and you could let your children look at these things. So they yeah. and put it on my phone and we can use it. So that ain't good philosophy. Either. Don't you believe in the devil? How you believe? Didn't I show them the foundation to uh, who's the founder? Who's the founders of Flat World People? Who, uh, I get, okay, I'm going to show them to you now. Right here. See you know, all them pictures going across? Those, those are the founders of, see, some more devils. Doing some more devil shit. Talking about some devilish things. And now go look up their history because I'm putting their name. Look up who the fuck these people are. See, I you don't be looking at the author. You like, no, that shit they saying is right and exact. Do you know who these motherfuckers are? If you knew who they was, you wouldn't be thinking they was right and exact. I say they were still keeping the people blind, deaf, and dumb to the knowledge of they what true self. And if it ain't right, you exactly, you trying to defend it. You can't, you don't have nothing to defend it with. So the only thing you got left is your emotions and your feelings, because you can't prove it on no scale. And the fact of the matter is how you can show and prove whether you can prove it or not, then we debate over it intelligently in front of a couple of audience, a few people who's within the inner circle. And no one understand the square. And if we sit down and do it, then we use the criteria. And based on the criteria, uh, it was a, it was agreed upon. You know, it was agreed upon ten. It was agreed upon 1963, 10, 10. That's first born Messiah. And then the next hit by that time, that's what we probably got everybody then. And then they moving on to the next level. And that's 1964, 10, 10. And then you go, the next big move is uh, 1965. And then 1968. And then 1969. And there's other shit going on in between that too. But I'm just saying, those are like good days to keep a track of. And then if you're going to go back, you're going to go back to like 1934, 1930. And then you're going to go back further to 19... 19... 29 and then 1913, right? So those dates right there take you right there, 1914, right after 1913. And then prior to that, you're going to start going to the dates when they was born. And that's going to be an 1800 shit. And then you're going to jump back to, uh, you're going to see Jim Crow. And then before Jim Crow, you're going to see the prisoner of war camps. That they try to gas us up into believing it was some kind of slavery. Motherfucker, that was Gestapo, prisoner of war, genocide shit. And then you gonna go colonizers and colonizing, and that's some straight up war shit. And then before that, you gonna see like traders and shit like that. And explorers and shit. That's what you gonna see before that. And then prior to that, you gonna see absolute peace. Wars and skirmishes, but 
Not no full scale, straight up, we trying to genocide, motherfucker. Fuck which continent you go to, that's how it's going to go down. Simple and plain. So, those things are implied if you know and understand. Of course, if you don't know and understand, they're not implied. I, but if you tell me that you know and understand, I'm going to assume we are implying that. Also, no, if you say you know and understand 120 lessons, how do I know you a Christian? If I would have knew you was a Christian and not this... You ain't Mason, you ain't 120. Well, you, there's some Christian ass Masons. I guess you could be a Mason and be all Christian duck, but you're really not supposed to be dealing with religion in Mason. But I guess there's Masons and they be Christians because they be Catholic or, no, they be Protestant. They don't be Catholic. They come out the Protestant denomination. So in America, they black. They probably Pentecostal or Baptist. So even if you're saying you Pentecostal, but I go with the Pentecostal more than I would the Baptist, but anyway. Maybe you old Baptist ass nigga. But if you was Pentecostal, you ain't writing exact still. Because they way more strict on that shit. Santa Claus. They got Jesus. Fucking with no Santa Claus on no 25th. Fucking with Jesus. Believe that. So, what you saying, my nigga? That's what I be trying to say. Like, that's why I don't reveal, I don't, I don't let go of those. Um, sessions we had when we videoing and we recording and shit. I used to have a cassette player that recorded. I could go back to when me and this building. Man, and I remember you. when you were talking about you was Azim, you was a Moor. So what Unless the they come back and tell us whether they lying or not. Right? We know that lesson. So don't be fronting. And then, you know, years later, like, whatever, I don't know, he was like in his equality ciphers, and then he gave up the physical composition. You know. But by then, he was Christian. What happened? Like, how do you go from First he was Muslim. I guess he was really Christian all along, but he was supposed to have went from Christianity to Orthodox Islam. Salat, Wudu, you feel me? And then he went to the Moors under CM Bay. And then next thing I saw him, I, ain't, I hadn't seen him in a long time. He was a Mason, but he wasn't a Moorish master Mason, 360 degree. He was a... Uh, Christian Protestant Mason, 33 degrees. You going backwards and you fronting too, because I was like, eh, you say you that, but you don't really know that neither. Like, I'm talking to you and I'm saying, you don't really know your masonry. You say you know it, you do the philanthropy part. You don't know the lessons though. You don't study them lessons. You just throw it around a little bit here and there, but you don't really know yet. This is the world of fleshless things. Who gives a fuck? But you can't be fronting, son, because you can't. Cause, but what happened to me is I you was down with 120, so that's why I'd be shocked. Like, what? You're saying that? That's why I'd be saying it that way. If we was going to debate over it, that was something else. But if I would have knew you ain't had knowledge yourself and you was really fronting, I would have never brought those subjects up. Because I ain't want to, like, make you feel like you don't know shit. But you don't know shit when it comes to this. Not, not the Quran, not the Bible, not Duncan's ritual. Took him to Abraham and let him see. When Abraham was talking to I-A-V-A, it was spelled capital L-O-R-D-S. And when he was talking, and when, when the capital L-O-R-D-S, L-D, capital L-O-R-D was talking to the angels, it was spelled little L-O-R-D. So now once you expose to those pins and they didn't yank them out, can't put them back. It's, oh, you already exposed. So now they understood the difference between IHVH and the angel. So we was, we was cross-referencing our shit with books and shit. So from the 85 perspective, they hear you dropping 120. They still want to challenge that. Oh, they don't, they don't, you can't show them 120 to show and prove that it's right. You have to show them something else. That's when I was born there. Because I bring them to Jay Ross. First person I take them to. Come see Jay Ross. All of it's in motion and all that shit. Remember what I was telling you about? It start flowing in. You start getting, as you, as the, the scale goes from zero and then it'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's positive. And then you can go negative. Zero, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you keep going that way to the negative. That's how the number line look. So, Everybody's starting off at zero, baby, now it's up to you to go which way you fucking go. Some of us go 20, 30, 40, that positive, but then they start getting negative. They start subtracting shit. So they might have got up to $100, and now tomorrow when you see their ass, they owe $100. So they went into the negative, you feel me? That's how I know you regressing. 
You say you don't understand 120 lessons and that you the true and living God, but you got a mystery God. Or you the old crustacean eating man. You ain't disciplined enough yet. You, how could you not, how could you not, how could you say you don't understand 120 and you don't know that we ain't supposed to eat bottom dwellers, catfish, motherfucking fin, ain't got no fin, ain't got no scale, and over 20 pounds. You don't know that rule. Yes, the 85 can eat what the fuck they want, but you supposed to know the rule. It's implied that we don't do that. But if I see it fronting, see, that's what I'm saying. That's what makes me think you fronting, because you say you know this, but the actions don't show and prove that you know it. It's crazy shit. That's why I say it is, but it isn't. You right, but you wrong. Motherfucker, anybody out. Motherfucker, nobody don't know. As above, so below, as below, so above. The devil is the truth and falsehood, strangely, man. See what I'm saying? The only thing that's absolute is he absolutely the devil. You don't think you know, but you don't know. Because that deep down inside, you still got white Jesus. You just don't want to admit it to yourself, but you you still tied into the matrix. You got white Jesus, son. If you got white Jesus, that shit is a conflict. And you trying to be black, but you also cooning and dancing, but you really don't like to dance and coon. But you kind of forced into doing it because you've been in the game so long, you don't know what else to do. And then you start, after a while, you start to believe in some of that shit. And then it gets emotional for you because you don't want to like really say, that you doing that because you want to still look like you got knowledge yourself when you around the people who really do got knowledge yourself. That's why I said easily led in the wrong direction, hard to be fucking led in the right direction because once you was exposed to the ideology of Monsanto, see when we first learned about it, we didn't know it was a Monsanto and a genetically modifying, we didn't know it was that. They just were saying, oh, if you vegetarian, don't eat wheat. Man, that ain't good enough for us. We was young. Get the fuck out of here. You just can't say don't eat it because don't eat it. I, we didn't see it in 120. It's old ancient. We thinking old ancient wheat like you thinking fucking Egypt. Right? So if we go into Kemet and we're talking about the bread basket, okay, we don't know it's really supposed to be iron core and not goddamn wheat. Right. So we don't know, we think that that's the state implied that iron corn and wheat are the same thing. But they're not, they're far from the same thing. And so once that is exposed, then, that's why you overweight. That's why you got high blood pressure. That's why you got diabetes. Because you with fucking. Monsanto, then automatically in your mind you kicked in. What was your coon first? Really well, legs and cooling all lords. Of course, I'm in fact. Devil. And he lied back to Durham from original was the devil and these rules and regulations which is not being mentioned in this lesson. Automatically that should go in your head. If it's a black person not performing his duty, what must be done? She was like, all that should be going in your brain. My word is bond. That should have all in your head because she said, well, his word has got to be bond. So he must have did all the research to it because why? Everything is something to be shown and proved. So why would he say some shit? Then once you say, and the God said, if you do this, 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 and then, this will happen because he did it to his his self and his group. They all did it. We seen from January 11th to now what it did to us, and you see it because you're around us. You know, you a front, you wanna make people think you got knowledge of but you really don't? I'm, with, I'm good with that, Leo, I'm good with that. But when we just build it and show and prove it, don't be getting all in your emotions with what I'm saying. Strikes a nerve, and you know that's your phone, Brady. You on the DL, eating like a Christian. And you talking about, you got knowledge yourself. If you had knowledge yourself, you don't eat like a Christian. You eat like a person with knowledge yourself. You more aim towards the vegan, vegetarian, Deuteronomy, Leviticus type diet. You don't really fuck, you eat like the devil. That's what I'm saying. So, but it's all good. I know eat like the devil and they good with me. I'm good with them, they cool. I don't got no beef, they can eat like the devil. They ain't telling me they, they 5% and they eat like the devil. They saying, oh no, this is what I am, and I do this. Oh, okay, I can fuck you real. You acting like, oh, I don't do that. I'm this. I'm right and exact. Uh, I got knowledge of self. I be a witness to Malcolm. Can I see front? I don't know this. Okay. 
Because I know you were fronting it. That's the only reason why I ain't going to the next level where I be saying that. Protect your identity and all that. Because he, that front man be front on that. But some other front on other shit. So next thing you know, you done ran into, by one front, get you led into another front. Next thing you know, you done ran up into these snitches. So now they snitching. So who you think they snitching on? They ain't snitching on them other fools because they ain't snitching on they snitching on the alpha males and the betas. The alpha and the betas, that's usually the captain lieutenant type. The guards and the guards, like power born guard, guard. That's who they snitching on. Y'all just getting it, making moves and shit. Oh, they over here. That's what they doing. They doing it over there. So, happen with the quickness, son. You'll be caught out there all by yourself. Because you be thinking they right and exact, and they be some devils. They don't know. Now you rolling with them. You ain't got caught up in the cipher because you think their economics look so right and exact. You think they right and exact. They not right and exact, son. Devils. And you rolling with that devil shit and don't even know it. But when the true and living show you the real shit, you rejecting it. Because it don't look as extravagant as that devil shit. So that make you like say, oh, I'm going to roll with the devil shit. That's not what you're supposed to do. You ain't supposed to roll with the devil. Supposed to roll with God. That you know what that made me think of? Back in the days. See, I should have saw it back then. I'm gonna call to watch this. We was um we was building, right? It got to a level where we was really making moves, dropping slave names and all that shit. We was taking it to the next level. So then the um the Christians was making a, a move, right? And so, on the other side, the Muslims was making their moves. So we the gods, we was making our moves. Next thing you know, so wait, that's not the whole thing. Plus the Moors was doing their thing. So somehow, a lot of the 5% and a lot of the Moors had got, was like teaming up together because we was smaller of the group. It was less of us than it was the Muslim, and it was less of us than it was the Christians, right? So, this is all black people on this side was going on. We ain't even counting the white Christians and the, uh, and the Aryans and all them kind of yet the Spanish people that was Catholic and all that, which they like half originals and all that. We ain't even counting them. We ain't counting them. I'm just talking about just with us. So what happened was, because they was rolling, most of them was rolling with us anyway. Because it was like, it was like black and brown was supposed to roll together pretty much. And then the white people had their own little white people. And that's the way it went. I walked into it, it was already like that. So it wasn't me making the rules, them rules was already there in place. Before I came around, I just went with Whoever was rolling how they was rolling, I said, well, I'm shouldn't have looked more conducive to how I'm rolling. So I rolled with the guards, right? So I'm rolling with the guards. They not my students. I didn't bring them in. King brought them in. But he got to a certain level, he didn't know how to do that part that they wanted to know about how to drop things like that. So he brought them to me. So I'm not really their mic. I'm just showing them how to use the Constitution. And, and, the, and the Ninth Amendment and drop their slave name without actually going through the courts. How to do it. So I'm showing them, I'm giving them the paper where she was making their moves. And the guards and the moors was making their moves. When it went down, all that. Bay, Azim, uh, the dances, the, the wife that was Egyptology, or, Pan African, all of them went with the Christians. See, that name, they was really down with the Christians all along, because even though they was like knowledge of self, this, that, the third, they ain't really bear witness, G. When they went down, they were over, they thought the strength was bad. So they saw, they was like, man, these Christians. Right. They was doing the same shit. Um, we was, but we was in the street doing some crazy shit. I'm just saying, when it went down, crazy shit, we was getting, we was hustling. We was trying to get money. We wasn't hustling in the form of gangbanging. We was hustling in the form of getting this paper. We had to do what we had to do. So anyway, long story, motherfucker, trying to get money. But we all the guards. 
Well, I'm thinking we are the gods. So anyway, over here, something went down. And it was about to go down. We was just saying, if they rush in the war, we're going to have to get up and bring it. If we can't stay here, we'll be sitting ducks. So we're going to let them rush. When they get to a certain point, I'm, we're going to do a military fast. We're going to do five meters apart, and we're going to step to them like military style. Somebody might get hit, but we're going to bring it, right? We're gonna, some, most of us going to get out of this if y'all do it like I say do it. So, under is with it all the way. My word is born. They got on their knees and started praying to Jesus. Y'all should have already prayed to Jesus, and then we, we already been rolling. Should have did that prayer. But if you're going to do it now, could you make that quick? Because we got to make these moves or they're going to get us. And he's not fucking with you no more. Shit go down, you old scared. Yeah. Start praying to white Jesus, hoping he can come and save your ass. And that motherfucker would have, you would have died that day. Maybe it was white Jesus' will that you died and I saved your bitch ass. But I'm not fucking with you no more. But I'm saying that to say. The point I'm making is, these motherfuckers be acting like they you, but they not you. They not you. You could be friends with people that ain't you. When the presumption, the rule of presumption is, you say you 5%, then that means you know and understand 120, and that's implied. But when you really don't know it, uh, don't that sound like you fronting? With that, I'm going to say peace.